Well, we got old Ninja the mule out here. Now this mule's broke her eye pretty good, but he's still a little spooky. So we're gonna put the chatter boxes on him today. That'll cure any spooky mule, that's for sure. We're gonna test to see if this uh, mule is gorilla broke. So what you do is you just get about yay far away and... <laughs> <laughs> Not gorilla broke. <laughs> Your mule ain't broke if it ain't <laughs> nah, gorilla if broke. Nah, gorilla broke, <laughs> shoot, they ain't broke. Well, this is what we call the chatterbox right here. Just a little aluminum pan that fits two blocks of salt perfectly. Well, the reason we call these the chatter boxes is because when this mule gets to trotting or walking, these shake around a little bit and just chatter away. And any green colt is gonna freak. All right. That'll work perfect. Looking horse, huh? Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like anybody's been on here. Woo! 
Oh man, that is straight up. For all you haters out there saying your horses can go wherever my mules can go, I never said your horses couldn't go where my mules could go, but I will say my mules will make it look a lot more graceful. Not to mention a lot faster and less chance of injury. Notice how three of the four mules made it up the hill with no problem at all and made it look very easy. Now the two horses, they made it up just fine, but it took them a little bit longer and it didn't look as graceful. Well, Brom. Little bushwhacking never hurt anybody, did it? <laughs> nope.